Right, everybody, it's your boy Aeon Flux again. This is my Akimbo dual wheel build X13. I'm gonna show it to you, everybody. I'm gonna show you the settings in a second, too, and the tunings for every attachment. See what I'm doing here? See what I'm doing here? You see, it's a Kimbo X13, X13, and the round. Okay, I'm gonna go into everything right now. We're going to the tune. We're going to the tune. See why I have everything? See why I have everything? Back out of that. See this one right here? Go to the tune. Actually, we back up. See why I have it? I'm not worried about aim down sight speed. I don't want this weapon jumping all over the place. I don't need any of my weapons jumping all over the place. So that's what I want. I want recoil steadiness. See this right here? I'll go to the tune. Let's look at the tune. See, look at that flinch resistance. I don't want to jump it. I don't want to jump in the far. That is the key. Remember, that flinch resistance is very important. That is the key. That is the key. Aim down sight speed is excellent. But when you're at a distance and you're fighting from a range, you know, farther than 50 meters, guess what? Guess what? You'll lose that battle because your weapon is jumping all over the place. Excuse my voice. All right. Then... As a DPS, damage per second, let me show you what's happening here. This is why you want that 50 round drum. Because when you think about it, when you think, and I'm gonna get out of that. When you think about it, hold up here. Let me get this right. When you think about it, and this and this is just my logic, and I could be wrong, but when you think about that, even though if I come over here and I grab this, and I grab this, my 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 my, my stats up here look better than when I come over here with my mobility. But I'm already moving fast as fast as hell already. So all I need to do is just come over here. And just get more bullets down range. Now remember, this is dual wield akimbo. So that means I have two. I have a hundred rounds. I have a hundred rounds at my disposal. Does that not make sense? This is what it is. To have a hundred rounds at my disposal. Running out there with dual wield. It is crazy. You know what I'm saying? It, it is something that I'm telling you once you get used to it. Especially when you're playing third person. If you play third person mode, you're going to murder everything. This is the build you want. In my humble opinion. There could be something better out there by all means. But I love this. I love this game for the, ability, the versatility and the ability that I have to make builds and to configure stuff. And the more you play it and the more attachments you unlock, the better off your, your style of gameplay. This is my style of gameplay. This may not work for you. This may work for you. It may not. But this is how I'm winning. And I went 90 and, and, and 30 in shipment on tier 1. If you don't believe me, go to Aeon One Flux with two X's and look at my last two video. Aeon One Flux, Aeon A E O N One F L U X X on Twitch. If you don't believe me, look at the last two videos. And in there, the last one or the second to last one, you will see like maybe 15 minutes before the end of the video. I went 90 and 30 with dual Kimball pistols. This is the build I did it on. And this was not on, on regular. This was on tier one. So I'm telling you, they're, they're, you can get busy with this. Because I believe that when they made this game, they made this game and did not, they did not lower the TDK for the handguns. In fact, they left it the same. 
with the assault rifles. So therefore, the handguns are very, very viable in this game. They'll kill your ass quick as shit. Anyway, that's all I got. Have a good night.